Hey, everybody. Okay. So I'm going to do from Virgo to Sagittarius. And then my next video will be Capricorn to Pisces. Okay. All right. Starting with Virgo, if you guys have not liked, shared, or subscribed to my channel, please, please, please do so. All right. <clears throat> Virgo, what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please? I'm going to try to make these a little quick and to the point. Could be dealing with another Virgo. <laughs> Gem or Gemini um, also had the chariot pop out and that was Cancer. So that would resonate for some of you. Wow, a lot of third party energy here. King of Swords reverse. Aquarius energy under the deck. Okay, Virgo. I do feel like there's a situation here where there's just too many people involved. Three of Pentacles here. I do feel like there was some sort of a teamwork, collaboration, um, or some sort of a circle of friends that um, we're dealing with here for a situation. With this King of Swords... There was somebody that was doing something intentionally or trying to uh, have some sort of strategy in the situation, trying to strategize. Let's go ahead and clarify what this means. I'm not sure what this means here. Please clarify this for me. definitely be um, a Gemini involved or there definitely was a decision that had to be made can you please clarify this please again three of cups three of cups king of swords king of swords wow four of swords Okay. Give me one second here. Virgo. Virgo, the King of Pentacles clarifying this, um, this Three of Pentacles here reversed. I feel like somebody was definitely, there was a situation where a few people involved were greedy and untrustworthy. Could have had to be uh, regarding some sort of financial issues. Somebody, some group of people were definitely corrupt here. Could have been gambling, could have been fraud. Somebody or some people were determined to win at any cost here. Three of Cups, Three of Cups. This is very interesting because I do feel like I'm getting a, uh, an energy of some sort of flirtation or indulgence that went too far here, okay? There was a close friendship or, or close friend group to where people got involved with each other. This could have been around some sort of a, um, a get together or a celebration, some sort of reunion or a party. Okay. Um, King of Swords, clarifying King of Swords. I feel like this, this was a good partnership between two people. 
that turn destructive. Okay, there was some there was an argument. Somebody was playing mind games. Somebody was uh, like doing something to win at all costs here. Okay, this four of swords under the deck is, is you know, you're going to be coming out of some sort of um, solitude. You're going to be getting a message about, about the truth of a situation. That is what you don't see coming, okay? There is hope in this situation here because I do feel like there's gonna be some clarity, okay? Like this is just a big mess. What messages do we have for my Virgos regarding the outcome or regarding the situation? Okay, we have my ego is too big. And we have my life means more to me than this connection. So somebody is super egotistical here. I don't know if that's you or them. We have I've been stalking your social. So somebody's definitely stalking the other. Okay. What else do we have here? Again, Aquarius, Capricorn, energy, Pisces, energy. Or this could have happened uh, recently, or this is going to happen, whatever this situation is. We have I'm in pain, all right, so somebody is in pain because of their ego. We have, you are right. And under the deck, we have, I speak to you through music. So you could have been hearing some songs lately that are in connection with whatever's going on here. But because of somebody's ego being so big here, they're in pain because of it, right? But I think you were right for doing what you did in regards to the situation. Because you found that this person was not fully in this connection with you. They were not all in. All right. Take those messages how they resonate. Moving on to Libra. Moving on to Libra. What do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? Libra, sun, moon, and rising, please. Just three. All right. There's some sort of a toxic situation here. Okay. All right. We have Leo energy here with the sun and the strength, Capricorn energy and air energy, Gemini, Leo, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. So I am getting the sense that there is a, a toxic situation that you're involved in right now. Um, I feel like there's some kind of truth or clarity that's being hidden from you. I feel like perhaps this toxicity is being hidden from you at this time. You're feeling kind of defeated with the strength card reversed. Okay. Because I really feel like you were all in here. And perhaps you know, like in the back of your mind 
the truth about this situation. Because we do have the sun card reverse as well. And this is like, this is something that you don't see. And when it's reversed, this is unhappiness. Okay. I don't see you moving away from it at all. I see you staying in it. Let's clarify this energy. Yeah, I feel like there's an energy of heavy dominance here. But let's just clarify. Oh. Not sure you're going to get what you want from this situation or what you think what you think you're going to get from it because the Ace of Pentacles is reversed. You could also be um, going through some financial. Wow. Why is this coming out every reading? That the same card is clarifying the same card. Strength reversed. Yeah, you're really feeling defeated here, okay? Yeah, okay. There's some things that are being hidden from you at this time, okay? Whether it's um, a secret, whether it's some behaviors that you don't see. Two of Cups reversed here. I don't feel like you're going to get what you're expecting. Whatever it is you're expecting here. Romantic love, marriage, partnership, a proposal, a commitment. You're not going to get it, okay? I hate to be so blunt, but yeah. Um, okay, let's go ahead and uh, pull some message cards here. Basically, it's not what you're expecting, okay? I was too controlling, I know. Somebody is very controlling. Here. And we have, I was just using you. So somebody is using this connection for something controlling and using. And then the devil that came up is some pretty toxic energy that I feel is perhaps being hidden from you. And then we have, I never took this serious enough. I do feel like as serious as you're wanting this to be, the other person is not in the same mind state as you, okay? You might be seeing some numbers. I just saw I wasn't ready for all that love. I feel like you're, you give a lot of love, but whoever you're trying to give this to, they're not ready for it, okay? There we go. Um, okay, we have triggered gossip, petty, or envy. I feel like somebody was very triggered here. Okay, in a situation. And then we have, why don't I get the same treatment as everyone else? And then we have listen to your heart here. So you may have had some sort of like an awakening or an epiphany. And there's definitely that magnetic attraction here, okay? Because whenever something is toxic like that with the devil, there's definitely always some sort of magnetic attraction that pulls you together. Okay, so I hope that these messages resonated for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Okay. 
Uh, moving on to Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Too many, too many, too many, too many. Oh, I'll take these three. Okay. Somebody is definitely in some anxiety here. Okay. About a situation. The Knight of Pentacles, I'm feeling like there's definitely... You feel like somebody in your energy is not reliable. They don't work. They don't put in the work. Okay. They could probably not even have a job. Okay. Perhaps. With the high priestess, this is also Pisces energy. But this is something about secrets. This is your intuition. This is your gut telling you something about the connection. Okay. Okay. This king of pentacles here is a wise investment, but it's in the reverse. So whatever this situation is, it's definitely not a wise investment. Because I feel like you are a solid person. You're a leader. You are a king of pentacles, whether you're a female or a male. But whatever this situation is, it's not a smart investment to get into. Okay, and that's why this Four of Swords is here is because you're feeling, you're feeling like you need to retreat. You need to rest. Okay, you need to recover from whatever this is. Can we clarify this? feeling defeated you're feeling like all your hard work was put for nothing in the situation this nine of swords here is you feeling anxiety grief depression about this person who's like really not investing the way that you're investing in this connection in this situation the strength card clarifying the high priestess your intuition is telling you that this situation is wrong or not going to work. And it made you feel defeated because you really, you really put your all into this, right? You really put everything you had into this. This seven of pentacles is basically, you know, you're a hardworking person, you're patient, you're successful. But when you put your, when you're investing into something that's not giving you a return, you're going to lose that success here, okay? Whether that be monetarily, emotionally, mentally, physically, whatever it is, you're going to lose your pentacles by investing in this, okay? That could be literal too. Um, Queen of Pentacles clarifying this Four of Swords. By you getting rest and, and, and isolating yourself, you will... Come back into your resources here, okay? But you have to kind of take a break with whatever's going on and perhaps even get away from it, okay? Do we have any messages for my Scorpios, please? Yeah. Wow, I just cut the deck. It says, I'm going to continue to lead you on. All right, that, that's definitely a message for somebody. I wasn't ready for all that love. Somebody was definitely giving too much love here, okay? And that person is not is not 
<laughs> receiving, okay? And it's putting you in pain. Um, but you just have to know that sometimes people are not ready for what you are wanting to give them. Listen to your heart on this situation, okay? What is, again, with the high priestess, what is your intuition telling you? God showed me your true colors. I feel like you have seen the true colors of this person already. Okay? They don't want to let you go. I feel like you have something that this person wants here. I don't feel like it's necessarily love. What else do we have? Okay, we have rewards, abundance, and fortune. I think if you listen to your gut, you'll be rewarded, okay? And then we have, I love that body. So I feel like somebody here is just really attracted to somebody. Um, I feel like there is attraction there, okay? And then we have the grass was not greener. So <sighs> perhaps... You know, you let this person go and they were like, wow, the grass is really not greener on the other side. And they tried to come back here. But again, you've seen their true colors already. Okay. All right. Those were your messages, Scorpio. I hope they resonated. All right. Moving on to Sagittarius. This is the end of the reading. Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. Too many. Just three. Okay, perfect. Okay, I feel like you are a very powerful person. I feel like you're very charming. You're very courageous. I feel like there's something, though, inside of you, some sort of apathy, something of, of you feeling unfulfilled in a situation. This could also be a surprise gift coming toward you. And I also feel with this Five of Wands reverse, there was some sort of an obstacle or challenge or a rivalry that is no longer, okay? Or you're, you're not a very confrontational uh, person either, okay? You don't like confrontation. With this Five of Cups under the deck, this is some sort of a regret or feeling of abandonment or, or not being loved by either somebody or something. But right after this, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I am seeing... A raise, a promotion, an investment, some sort of a new income coming in for you. Okay. Let's clarify this. What do we have for Sagittarius? I have all signs on the board here. There's going to be uh, someone charming coming in for you, but just be aware. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Okay. Interesting. Leo, Aries, water. The Knight of Cups is somebody who's very charming, like I said. Okay. Somebody romantic. Somebody is going to make a proposal. Okay, because they see you for the for being the king of wands, somebody who's like a leader, somebody who kind of has their shit together. The emperor is um it, it could be a father figure, it could be um somebody who's respected and uh another leader, okay? Clarifying this four of cups. If you're feeling unfulfilled uh, or or apathetic, you know, or even um, something. I feel like this, 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 whether this is a father figure or somebody of authority, perhaps could be bringing you a gift here. Just got that message. And then the sun clarifying the five of wands, I'm getting some sort of material happiness or some sort of a successful outcome of a situation that was very, um, perhaps even like some sort of conflict. Okay, with this eight of cups clarifying the five, I am getting that you are withdrawing, you're retreating, you're moving on, okay? You're moving into a logical mind frame at this time, okay? You're kind of stepping out of your emotional state. Take that how it resonates, okay? All right, what messages do we have for Sagittarius? Something January to February or a person that's either a Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. All right. I'm just taking two, okay? I'm slowly starting to understand the connection. And I think we should slow down. So I don't know if something was moving too fast. But I feel like somebody here is starting to understand it for what it is, okay? Under the deck, you make me want to do bad things. So somebody is like very sexually attracted to you and vice versa here. What else do we have? We have divine timing and I can feel you telepathically and then under the deck, you really are one in a million. So you, they really feel like you're one in a million here. Okay. And I do feel like, um, a connection's coming in for you in divine timing. And I feel like you already kind of like speak to this person telepathically. Okay. I feel like you're on another level connected on another level. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, those were your messages. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope that you guys liked my messages and it resonated. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.